Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. Uh, here is uh, Jean Vaz, um, seven air instructor, and I'm here to speak to you a little bit about um, flight preparation. And uh, this is one of uh, many videos that I'm going to to do. Um, today we are going to cover um, a little bit of air law about flight preparation and um, meteorology. Um, and I I know that uh, some of you come from other schools, some from Air, uh, the Air Force and others from the, uh, the airline companies, where maybe you have uh, this uh, pre-flight information in a different way. Well, here in our school, uh, it's us, pilot in command, that need to know what um, information it's mandatory to prepare your flight with and uh, where to get it so that's why i'm here i'm here to help you uh, get it and uh, to show you where you should do this so without further ado let's go for it so first of all i prepared uh, three uh, basic documents that you really need to be comfortable with so first of all as you can see here this is uh, annex 6 um, this is um, aircraft operation they have three parts if I'm not mistaken, this is part. Sorry, this is part two. Yeah, here part two operation of uh, of aircraft. All right, and uh, here you can see in your flight preparation the things that you need to um, to prepare before before flight. Okay, uh, uh, load carried. Um, a lot, of, a lot of stuff, mass and balance, performance, everything's here covered. And you also have that um, flight preparation that you need to do also in EASA legislation, EASA air law, here in uh, EASA easy access rules for air operations. You can check it here, you can get it online, okay? And um, when you come here, I just wanted to pull your attention to something. You have dif different parts, okay? Part R, ORU. NCC, NCO, ours is NCO, okay? This is um, non-commercial operation for non-complex aircraft, okay? NCC is for uh, uh, non-commercial operation, complex aircraft, and then ARU and ORU for the airline companies, okay? So our part is Annex 7, part NCO, and you have also here um, what you have to prepare and documents you have to bring on board your aircraft. Speaking specifically about meteorology, we can go to Annex 3, Meteo, um, and here you can uh, give a quick review of what you need for your flight. Okay, you have everything here, all right? So you are already pilots, so of course you already had this, you already, already had air law, you already know what I'm talking about, but if you don't or if you didn't remember, well, here it is, just a quick briefing or on where it is, okay? So, uh, speaking about this, I'm going to show you in a more practical way uh, how we usually do the, um, the flight preparation in terms of meteorology, okay? So, I'll start here at uh, IPMA, which is our uh, official uh, Met Office, and uh, first of all, I uh, just just ipma.pt and then we'll just go for aeronautica and self briefing. All right. Once you get in, uh, how do you get, for instance, metars and tofs? You just come here, text query, hit metars. Okay, here metars, and then you can check which aerodrome you want. For instance, LPCS. Imagine that I'm going for. Uh, Evra, I'm going to pass. I have Sintra just beside me. I have uh, Portela, I have Montijo, I have, um, and then I have Evra, right? And I have also Beja, which is a very proximate, uh, a very nearby alternate for Evra. So I can just put them all here, go for search, and I have all the metars in here all right we can go tough metar and like this we have tough and metar from cascais sintra portela montijo and beja as you can see 
I selected Evra, but there is nothing here. Why? Obviously, because Evra doesn't give metars and toughs. Basically, that's it. All right. So some air aerodrome don't don't have this uh, Met Office service, and um, they don't give the information. But uh, for what we are concerned, uh, we have here this tool, and uh, this is how we take metars and toughs. Um, after this, we can go. So we already checked out our metars and toughs. We can go for charts. Okay. Other things that we need are. For instance, significant uh, weather charts that we are not going to take them from here. I will explain later. We are going to take wind and temperature charts um, and Met Office charts, which are basically surface charts. All right. So significant weather charts. Why don't I take it from here? Imagine that I'm going for significant weather. Okay. Significant weather. I have many areas here. Mine, it's Europe. Imagine that I go here. I go for Europe. As you can see uh, here, so issued by uh, WAFC London, uh, provided by IPMA, IKO, significant weather from Europe, flight level 100 to flight level 450. So this will not cover my altitude. They don't have, and uh, IPMA doesn't have um, these charts made for lower altitudes because basically it's uh, it's another cost for the country and it's not uh, mandatory to have um, uh, it's not mandatory to have lower lower level charts lower than flat level 100 for significant weather so i think it's something about costs i presume i don't know so how do i uh, how do i go to significant weather charts I'll just access the French website, French Met Office, let's say it like that, and I'll show you that afterwards. So going back, so significant weather, we'll take it later from the French website. Now I'm going for wind and temperature charts. As you can see here, you have a lot of areas. We are going for here, peninsula, okay, peninsula, hit it. And then we have different levels. All right, we're going to take the flight level 050. Imagine that I am going to fly tomorrow at um, 7 a.m. It's my presentation and I'm going to fly at 8 local. So it makes sense for me to have the 6 a.m. chart and the midday chart. So I'll just click it here. Okay, I'm clicking it um with the uh, with my control button pressed so they show up here all right just for you to see okay it shows up here in another um in another uh, part of my of my browser so here is my whoop, my 6 a.m chart okay from tomorrow and uh this is how i, I can Sorry, this is how um, I thought I was going to sneeze. <laughs> this is how I um, access it, of course. Then I'm going to save image and put it in a, um, in a certain folder uh, of my choosing. But this is how I access it. And here is the other one. So once again, this is the middays from tomorrow. All right. This is how I'm going to access it. So when the temperature charts are done, I already opened the, uh, so here, Met Office charts, when you click it, this is where you're coming from, okay? We were just in wind and temperature charts, now we are at Met Office charts. And now we have analysis and forecast. Since I'm only going to fly tomorrow, so I'm on, only going to be interested in forecasts. So I'll go, so this is uh, for today, I guess, 6 uh, a.m., midday. Um, 6 in the afternoon, this is midnight, and this is tomorrow's at 6 a.m. Let's see if I'm correct. It will open here. Woo, okay, my session has expired. Let me try again. All right, now it's not expired. So, uh, I have now here the chart from 6 a.m., Thursday the 10th okay so that is tomorrow by the day I'm doing this video of course 
uh, and uh, so this is how you access your your chart okay here you have it now uh, we have a problem so we have the 6 a.m we don't have the midday's chart from tomorrow we can go to the official met office website which i have a hyperlink already here but it's basically just writing metoffice.gov.uk okay in your google in your browser whatever and now uh, you have the charts also here and you can also use this uh, website a quick um, quick uh, tip about which websites you use you can use whether website you want as long as it's a certified met office um, meteorological office of course uh, so with that being said, uh, so this is from today, the 9th at um, midnight, so midday, we were going to fly tomorrow, so this is going to be the midnight late, later today, okay? And then we have the midday's chart that we wanted and we didn't have. So once again, for instance, I can have here the 6 a.m. chart for tomorrow, which is here, just right click, save it, all right? And then if you want the midday's chart, just come straight to Met Office and you'll have the, 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 the midday here, 6 a.m. Here, midday's chart is all, all, of course, it's, you already know this, but it's all, always good to have the charts between and during your flight. If you're going to fly from, let's say, from 8 to 10, it's good to have the 6 a.m. and the midday's chart. If you're going to fly from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m., you should have the charts from 6 a.m., midday, and 6 p.m. So you know how the weather is going to evolve. You know what I mean? Um, a limitation of this, um, of this website here, Met Office, is uh, that if you come here uh, to, to IPMA, as you can see, you have charts from six in six hours, okay? Six, 12, 18, etc. Here, you don't. So you have midnight, midday, midnight. Check. But the good thing is that you can see uh, further onwards during the week, okay? So here, the earliest that you have, it's 6 a.m. tomorrow, while here you have the midday tomorrow midnight tomorrow middays of the 11th which is in two days midnight of the 11th and of the 12th and so on you know what i mean so you can check it with uh, a little bit more anticipation uh, so speaking about uh, surface charts this is how we access it, okay? If you have any doubt, instead of going to Annex 3 or going to your ATPL, Oxford or Nordian uh, book, if you have doubts about the symbols and stuff, you can just access here, surface pressure, chart key, it's easier, and you have everything here, okay? Giving you all the, all the gold tips. <laughs> Of course, in the in Annex 3 and etc., you have it more detailed, okay, than here. But still, this is very good. So we are we are spoken about um, about uh, about surface charts, and with no further ado, we are going direct to significant weather. So while in class, don't forget to ask me the password and user. Okay, user I have you have here, but uh, don't forget to ask me about this password. Okay, I'll just enter here. This is the the French site. I'll just come here for the significant weather. Just press OK, and now I have here this chart okay this is a very good chart as you can see it's surface to flat level 450 the problem is I only have it for today 3 p.m. and for today 6 p.m. so this is one chart that I have to access um, let's say two hours before my flight okay because one hour before my flight I need to be there ready to give the briefing so two hours before my flight I will check this chart and of course uh, 
store it, whether take a picture with my iPad.